So let's get started with the first video. Hallelujah! Roll the intro. Oh yeah, I don't have an intro. Anyway, let's talk about calories. Oh, and thank God that worked because otherwise that would have been a disaster. Yes, calories, what are they? Why are they important? And especially, how many do you need per day to either gain, lose, or maintain your weight? Something so overcomplicated, but I have a very good recommendation that you can use to hopefully calculate your rough maintenance and then be able to decide where you want to go. Do you want to gain muscle mass or do you want to lose fat? So, first of all, what is a calorie? Well, a calorie is the amount of heat or energy that is required to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you. See what I mean? These type of people make things so boring and so overcomplicated. A calorie is basically just a unit of energy. You can either intake it through food, or you can intake it through drink, or you can expend it through energy, such as activities, things like that. And no one is the same. Everyone is individual, and it's what makes us amazing. Woo, I'm individual. Yeah, okay, but yeah, don't be comparing yourself to others. Everyone will have a different requirement based off their sex, based off their age, based off their energy expenditure, based off their genetics. There are so many things that go into making up your overall calorie requirement. So don't get bogged down if it's super low on poverty macros or super high. We all have different requirements, and there will be those freaks at 5,000 maintenance, and there will be those horrible, horrible, poor, poor people who will have to maintain on poverty macros. Oh dear. But what is most important, regardless of what energy needs you need, is that you actually focus and prioritize on them. Because so many people neglect nutrition, and they go into the gym, yeah, beast mode, <laughs> yeah, that's great. But if they can't get the calories they need to achieve their goal, to either gain muscle, lose fat, maintain their weight, live a healthy lifestyle, then they are not going to adapt from all that training, and they are just going to spin their wheels and end up like a twig like me. So now that you know the importance of nutrition, let's get started at calculating how many calories you need to achieve your goal, to maintain your weight, etc, etc, etc. So, step one, we need to calculate your BMR. Ooh, that worked again. BMR, basic metabolic rate. The amount of energy your body expends if you are just a couch potato. Mm, potato. Doing nothing all day. Sitting on the couch, doing nothing. The amount of energy your organs, your tissues just need to function, okay? So we all have a basic metabolic rate. So you might now be saying, Scott, how do I calculate this? This is all I need to know, right? Yes, here we go. Uh, let's slow things down just a little bit. Here we go. There are two formulas depending on whether you are male or a female, which I hope you do know because if you don't, I don't. So, here are the two formulas you need. Bam! Right, so if you are a male, you need to use this formula. And if you are a female, you need to use that formula. For all you men out there. Manly man, yeah? You need to times. Your weight in kilograms, remember kilograms, by 10, plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters, remember that, and then subtract 5 times your age and add 5 onto the end after. So easy! For you women out there, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! You need to do the same. Look, it's the same, but unfortunately, you have to subtract 161 instead of 5. That's the only difference between you and a male. Woo! And if you are too lazy to do that, shame on you! Shame on you! But there is an easier way. You can just either times your... Uh. <laughs> Never mind, I shall keep going. You can either times your weight by 25, or you can times your weight by 11, depending on whether it's kilograms or whether it is pounds. Now, you might be getting a number and saying, Holy moly bajoli cajoli. That is not a lot of calories. Well, you're right. That is your basic metabolic rate, remember, if you are a couch potato doing nothing. So, most likely, hopefully, none of you are really doing nothing. I mean, people swim, people walk, people <sighs> weight lift, people play golf, people cycle. I think you get my point here. And as a result, they expend energy. They expend calories. So we need to make up for those calories to be sure that we are not eating less than our body needs just to survive. We need to survive, guys. This is where we need to multiply that BMR by an activity factor. Yes, an activity factor, depending on how active you are to be able to ensure you're getting enough calories. So if you are very sedentary, Get off your backside. <laughs> no, multiply your BMR by 1.2. Now this is basically where you sit at your desk, you do nothing, you get up, you walk around, okay, eat a sandwich or a donut or seven, and that's it. 
If you like to partake in some sort of light activity, multiply your BMR by 1.375 or 1.4. It sort of ranges, but by 1.375 is a good start. And this is for your average Joe, sits at his desktop, but then might like to go out for a 20 minute run, just getting a little bit of activity in. So if you now are starting to get into a routine of being in the gym, going for a run, doing some sort of activity, three to five times per week and you would classify yourself as moderately, moderately active, whatever you want to call it, I can't pronounce that word, then multiply your BMR by 1.55 there and about. Now, the time has come for these super active people. If you train six to seven days a week, like me, and I am permanently a twig for doing so, I know I'm going to get that in the comments. But anyway, six to seven days a week going beast mode in the gym every single day, you need to multiply your BMR by 1.725, even 1.8, because you are burning so many calories, just like me. Hopefully you're not as twiggy as me, but you need to eat to bloody grow or to lose fat or whatever you want. You're gonna need more calories regardless of your goal. And if you're all of that, six to seven days a week, on top of a physically active job, like if you're on the roof, tiling stuff, if you're out digging, or you're a postman who just clocks up the miles, posting things left, right and centre, then you need to multiply your BMR by 1.9, sometimes even more, if you're extremely active. These are the genetic freaks, not the genetic, but the super, super active. That's all I can say. Active, active, active. You, you can probably tell how active I'm describing it. It's quite active. So here, 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 wherever I edit <laughs> is a complete rundown to all of those activity factors. So I'll let you have a little little browse at them. You have sedentary, obviously starting, lightly active, moderately active, very active, and then you're super elite. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Physically active job, chap. And obviously the number you get isn't your exact maintenance. Your real maintenance will be you tracking that number of calories per day, seeing on the scale how your weight goes. If you gain, then it's not your maintenance, you're in a surplus. If you lose, then it still isn't your maintenance, you're in a deficit. And if you maintain, then happy days, bro. You got it bang on first time. So there you have it, the amount of calories you need to maintain your weight. If you want to gain, you have to add to these calories, obviously to put yourself into a surplus to gain that muscle. If you want to lose, you have to chop back on calories. But don't chop back too soon, because if you do, you will hit a plateau and be on poverty macros, living a horrible life. Trust me, I've been there. Yes, not nice. So I'm not going to keep you too much longer, but if you do want to gain weight, you will take this so-called maintenance and either add a 200 to a 500 calorie uh, surplus, depending on how aggressive you want. If you want to go full dirty bulk, donuts, pizza, McDonald's, blah, 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 then be my guest. But you are going to gain so much fat and have to cut it off later on and not enjoy the process. Trust me, I have also been there myself, believe it or not. So 200 will always be my recommendation. And the same goes for fat loss. If you want to lose fat, depending on how aggressive you want to be, either chop 200 or 500 calories. But wait, don't chop too quickly because if you chop too quickly, you will most likely hit a plateau quicker, have to live longer on poverty, poverty macros that you hate, always be thinking about food and just yeah, don't do it if you don't have to. So let's take a final example. I'll do myself and I will calculate it through with you just to close you off and send you off, ensuring you know exactly what to do. Hopefully you do all right. So, bam, as you can see, 10 times my weight in kilograms, which is 73. Yes, I know I am a twig. Plus 6.25 times my height in centimeters, which is 188 centimeters. Then it's minus my age, which is 22 times by five and then add a five at the end of it. Easy, result, bam. 1,800 calories per day, my BMR. Yes, I am that smart, I worked it out all in my head. Maybe not. Then, like I said, I train seven days a week. I know it's not optimal, but I do it, and hence my lack of results. So I need to pretty much multiply my BMR, that 1,800 calories, by 1.725, but I multiply it by 1.8 because my workouts are, you know, quite intense, I like to say. And the total amount of calories I need a day to maintain my weight is 3,000. 
240 calories. Now, seeing as I am a skinny little twig, I want to bulk. So I have added 300 calories to that number and that brings me to 3,540 calories a day. And is this what I eat? Yes, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But I do average that number and guess what? I am gaining slowly. The surplus is small, the gain is small. So it goes to show this method is a really accurate, good way to start anyway, to calculate how many calories you need and to be able to adjust those calories to whether you want to gain or whether you want to lose. So, that is the end of the video. I am literally going to stop now because I have been rambling for way too long and I will wait till the next video. But, the question is, am I wearing any pants? <laughs> no. The real question is, am I going to do any more videos? Well, the only way I'm going to do more videos is if you subscribe, you like, and you share this video. If you do that and I can see that you have gained valuable information from this video, then I know there is a demand and I will do more. If you want it, I'll do it. Cue the outro. Don't have that either. <laughs> See you later.